A cluster of Alaskan islands could be a single interconnected giant volcano. Well, this is the first, not the first time we heard about a possible supervolcano under the Aleutian Islands. This is by American Geophysical Union. A small group of volcanic islands in Alaska Aleutian chain might be a part of a single undiscovered giant volcano, says scientists presenting the findings in the AGU, this is by the American Geophysical Union, uh, the meeting in uh, the, their fall meeting. If the researchers' suspicious are the suspicions are correct, the newfound volcanic caldera, it's a super uh, uh, volcano. The newfound caldera would belong to the same category of volcanoes as. The Yellowstone caldera. So I guess it's another, yet another supervolcano. So instead of 21, then we have this one here would be 22, and the one under the Canary Islands in La Palma that blew up 700,000 years ago with a super eruption is another one. So there's at least 23 that we know of now. So there's a Yellowstone type caldera and other volcanoes that have had super eruptions with several global consequences. The islands are the four mountains in the central Aleutians is a group, tight group of six stratovolcanoes named Carlisle, Cleveland Volcano, Herbert Volcano, Kagamil Volcano, the Tana, and the Yuliaga Volcanoes. Stratovolcanoes are what most people envision when they think of a volcano. A steep conical mountain with a banner of clouds and ash waving at the summit. They can have powerful eruptions, like that of Mount St. Helens in 1980, but these are dwarfed by far less frequent caldera-forming eruptions. Researchers from a variety of institutions and disciplines have been studying Mount Cleveland, the most active volcano of the group, trying to understand the nature of the islands of the four mountains. I finally support my Patreon account, the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. They have gathered multiple pieces of evidence showing that the islands could belong to one interconnected caldera. Unlike stratovolcanoes, which tend to tap small to modestly sized reservoirs of magma, a caldera is created by tapping a huge reservoir in the Earth's crust. When the reservoir's pressure exceeds the strength of the crust, gigantic amounts of lava and ash are released in a catastrophic episode of eruption. Caldera-forming eruptions are the most explosive volcanic eruptions on Earth. These are the super eruptions, as we know, and they often have had global effects, uh, meaning close to extinction-level events. Now, the ash and gas they put into the atmosphere can affect Earth's climate and trigger social upheaval from their volcanic winters. For example, the eruption of nearby Okmok volcano in the year 43 BC has been recently implicated in the disruption of the Roman Republic. So this, uh, the uh, Alaska volcanic eruption of the Okmok volcano 43 BC disrupted the Roman Republic. The proposed caldera underlying the islands of the four mountains would be even larger than Okmok. If confirmed, it would become the first in the Aleutians that is hidden underwater, said Diana Roman of the Carnegie Institute for Science in Washington, D.C., who co-authored the study, saying, uh, we've been scrapping, scraping under couch cushions for data. She was referring to the difficulty of studying such a remote place she said, but everything we look at lines up with a caldera in this region. We're talking about a supervolcano. Despite all these signs, Roman, along with John Power, a researcher with the U.S. Geological Survey at the Alaska Volcano Observatory, and the study's lead author, maintained that the existence of a caldera is not by any means proven. To do that, the study team will need to return to the islands and gather more direct evidence to fully test their hypothesis. Our hope is to return to the islands of four mountains and look more closely at the seafloor, study the volcanic rocks in greater detail, collect more seismic and gravity data, 
and sample many more of the geothermal areas, Roman said. The caldera hypothesis might also help explain the frequent explosive activity seen at Mount Cleveland, Roman said. Mount Cleveland is arguably the most active volcano in northern in North America for at least the last 20 years. It's produced ash clouds as high as 15,000 and 30,000 feet above sea level. These eruptions pose hazards to aircraft traveling the busy air routes between North America and Asia. It does potentially help us understand what makes Cleveland so active, said Power, who will present the work, said it can also help us understand what types of eruptions to expect in the future and better prepare for their hazards. This is by the American Geophysical Union on FIS.org. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.